Hello, everybody. I wanted to welcome you to the class and to make sure that you had my contact information and walk you through it a little bit. Let me minimize this. I have sent this update to the class and my contact information is pretty straightforward. It's tim.park or timothy.park at tcc.edu. One thing I'd like you to not use is the my.tcc.edu email. That's really a Google account and it's not safe to send me classified information like requesting you know, conversations about grades or anything like that through the my.tccd.email. So please uh, send me emails through this email address. Also, make sure that you give me 24 hours to get back to you. During the day, I will probably get back to you in a couple of hours, if not pretty quick. Uh, I really want to make sure that I can over communicate to you guys. So I will do the best I can. But don't send me one email at 9 o'clock, and another email at 9.30, another email at 10, and another email at 10.30. Send me one email. Trust me that I'm that uh, I'm with it enough to get back to you as you uh, give me 24 hours. After 24 hours, send me another email saying, this is the second email. Uh, can you please help me on this issue? You can always call me during my office hours, Monday through Thursday from 10 to 11 a.m. But what happens if those office hours don't work for you? You can send me an email, again, give me 24 hours to respond, giving me a couple of times that you could meet to talk if you need to talk during an office hour. And that's fine. We'll set up a Skype meeting or a collaborate meeting with Blackboard or uh, you know, just a phone call, whatever you need to have the conversation that, you, that you're requesting. So. Just because my office hours are between 10 and 11 in the morning doesn't mean you can't call me and ask me for another office hour. If you want to call me on my cell phone, there it is, 817-897-6401. This is my personal cell phone. So please do not call me before 8 in the morning or after 9 o'clock at night. That will not make me very happy. You can text me before those and after those times to let me know something's up. But uh, don't expect me to get back to you, uh, if you if you text me before or after those time frames. Acceptable conversations that you have to call me for are, I've been in an accident and I can't finish my, you know, start my test, or you know, I gotta take my kid to the emergency room or something like that. Unacceptable, conversations on my cell phone would be, I sent you an email an hour ago and you haven't responded. See my email up above explanation. Or uh, I've got to take a test and I have to ask you this question and it's 11 o'clock at night. No, you should have done that way before you started taking the test. Now, if there is an issue with the test, as in uh, it won't start for me or something like that, it could be because you've missed the time frame and it won't start for anybody after the time has passed. So don't send me an email at 11 o'clock or a text. I'm sorry, you can send me an email, but don't send me a text at 11 o'clock at night or, or call me because you didn't get into uh, the test on time. I believe it's pretty straightforward. I really am here to help. We can, we can always work around office hours if you need to contact me. Uh, if uh, even if the office hours aren't good for you, you know, 10 to 11 in the morning, you can send me a text and we can, or an email, and, and we can work out the right office hours to help you out. I look forward to working with all of you, and I'm about to call everyone in the class. Now, I'm just going to send you, or, or give you a voicemail if I don't get a hold of you. I'm just going to kind of talk to you about the class if I do. It's just my way of kind of personalizing the class a little bit more. Okay, so hope to talk to you all, and have a great day.